Hello and welcome to the studio. Today I want to talk to you about applicating the numbers onto the little advent bags, uh, which is called counting down, part of the um, drawstring bag of the month club. This is our last project for the year. And this applique is tiny. So if you haven't done machine applique before, I want to just give you a few tips. And I'm going to start with just a fast and easy way to get these all positioned correctly. So they are centered left to right. <clears throat> and I just fold this in half and make a little crease. Open it back up. And I just lay a ruler on here. So it's a nice straight edge. And they need to be two inches up from the bottom. So I. Uh, put the two inch mark along the bottom of this and I like to put just a number in this case I'm going to use the number three right in the center and then I can take this two, the number two and just butt it right up against this straight edge so it has something that it's hitting so I know that that bottom part is straight I've centered it with this center line and there you go that is a fast, easy way to get that lined up. Now I'm going to take this to the iron, press it in place, and I will meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, so when you uh, set up your machine here for a buttonhole stitch, I'm going to use a buttonhole stitch for me on my machine. That's stitch number 26, but you'll set yours to whatever you need to do. And by default, that stitch is going to be quite wide and quite far apart. And that's great for a lot of things, but on a tiny piece like this, it's really not good. So you're gonna want to make some adjustments in the length and the width of that stitch. And, you know, on my machine, I'm gonna try one and two here, um, but every machine is different. So you'll just have to try it out and fool around with it and see what you get. You want a stitch that doesn't cross you know, you don't want the stitch that's coming down here to get confused with the stitch that's coming up. So I would say no more than a third of the distance and a quarter is probably better. And I'm gonna start on a corner. I like to start on a corner and I can sort of, yes. So you see that's a nice small stitch, which is what I want. I'm gonna end on that corner, take a hard turn and just work my way to this next corner with a nice small stitch. And I like to just stop. You see that it's just right on the corner there. Now this tail right here, I like to just turn this over and pull it through. I don't uh, do any back stitch, especially on a small project. They just um, add bulk and they don't look very good. But if you just pull your back thread, your top thread will eventually come through and you'll have these two tails on the back. Now, if you wanted to, you could tie these together. Um, you could trim them. I don't do either. You know, I mean, I might trim these because they're long. I don't tie mine together because in all of the years I've been sewing, I've never had one work its way back out. So I'm just gonna leave it. And honestly, I can even tuck it up into here and it'll just get caught up again in the stitching of this. So now I'm just gonna work on this curve you can sort of zip along on a straight edge, but on the curve, you wanna take your time so that you don't get off um, your white. Now I've gotten to a place where it's kind of tight and I'm not gonna be able to really turn while I'm moving. So I'm just gonna stop my machine, leave my needle down and pivot my fabric. And I might need to do that a couple times in this top curve. And keep your needle down for sure when you pivot, otherwise things get a little off. And one more time ought to do it. And I'm gonna aim to hit that corner exactly. There we go. And then back around. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to pivot. This is getting away from me and I can't make that turn. Now 
now I want to end right on the corner again. And now when I take this out, I'm going to trim off some decent lengths in my tails, flip this over, and I'm going to pull that one as well so that that second top thread comes to the back. And now all of my threads are on the back. I don't have any back stitch. Um, these little tags that are here, you can just clip those off with your nippers. And there you have a nice, clean, tidy little two with just a small edge stitched, plenty of open space in here. Doesn't look confusing or messy. And I hope that was helpful.